Well, it's taken six episodes, but we finally got from this to this, and at last, that section of the garden is starting to show progress. This is the garlic that I'm going to overwinter. Province white, I think it was called. I got two um, bulbs, so I got 16 cloves out of it. That's the very dangerous rhubarb that has to be kept in a cage. And you'll have spotted I've got the blackberries in. Last episode, I talked about black currants, thorned and thornless. They're thornless blackberries, well spotted, woody for that. Um, I don't know why I said black currants, it was blackberries. So that's the bed for the garlic, of 16 garlic. I think the pit spaced reasonably well, so hopefully they'll do better than they did last year in the pots. And between the rhubarb and the sunken pots at the end that marks the end of this section, I've uh, got shallots, germore, or germore, I don't know how you pronounce it. I've got 26 um, shallots. So that's the kind of best spacing I could work out with them. Um, this bed has been dug through, all the stones removed, a little bit of fertiliser added. And you'll notice, the same as the garlic and the onions that you'll see now in a minute, they have a top and a bottom. Uh, the top sort of funnels in, tapers in, and the bottom is quite flat. And it goes bottom end in. So I'm just going to plant them their own depth with just the tops barely showing through the top of the soil. And of course what's going to happen now is the birds are going to come and have them. Um, another issue that I noticed with these pits, I'm going to have to get netting and cover them, is the um, local foxes and cats, which I normally don't mind, are, I've started using them as a litter tray. Not very nice. So... That's the shallots in. And next up are the onions. And I've got 60 onions. Radar, I think they're called. A little bit lopsided there, but that's again the best sort of spacing I could get. And as you can see, tapered top, flat bottom, that's where your root is going to come. So it goes in bottom first. Now, I've seen these planted two different ways. Um, some people just um, bury up to the shoulder. Some people bury them their own depth. I've done the same with the garlic, the shallots and the onions. See how they go. And that is, they've been buried their own um, depth. The, the depth is the same as their height. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So, um, 16 garlic, 26 shallots and 60 germos. They're not JMOs, um radars. And that's what that section of the garden now looks like. The sunken pots there, they, they'll they have herbs in them. And that will divide the two sections of the garden there. Um, the paths are not laid properly. They're really just placeholding at the moment. And I'm going to release the rhubarb soon. But I'm going to have to cover these beds uh with some sort of netting to keep the cats from digging everything out. That's your update for now. Thanks for watching.